As you are likely aware, the UK has left the EU and the agreed post-Brexit transition period comes to an end on the 31st of December of this year. The UK have introduced new UK conformity assessment marking as a replacement for CE marking and this becomes effective on the 1st of January 2021. In this video, I will explain what you need to do to be in compliance with the new UKCA marking requirements. The requirements are multifaceted, so please bear with me while we review the broad requirements for Great Britain, and this includes a grace period for certain types of products. We'll also look at the requirements for Northern Ireland, and then separate requirements for businesses in Northern Ireland placing products on the market in Great Britain. So for clarity, Great Britain is made up of England, Wales and Scotland, and the UK is made up of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. As part of the United Kingdom's exit from the European Union, the UK Government has introduced UK Conformity Assessment Mark. UKCA marking is the new conformity marking requirement that will be used for goods being placed on the market in Great Britain. The scope of equipment requiring UKCA marking is tightly aligned to those requiring CE marking. So as a general rule, if your product required CE marking to be sold in Great Britain, it will most likely soon require UKCA marking. The UKCA marking comes into force from the 1st of January 2021 with technical requirements, conformity assessment procedures and standards mostly analogous to the current CE marking requirements. Some and possibly most products have the opportunity for a grace period before which compliance with the new UKCA marking becomes mandatory. And details of the grace period will follow shortly. However, you will need to use the new UKCA marking immediately from the 1st of January 2021 if all of the following apply. Number one, your product is for the market in Great Britain. Number two, your product is covered by legislation which requires UKCA marking. And three, your product requires mandatory third-party conformity assessment. And finally, four, your conformity assessment of your product has been carried out by a UK cab and that you haven't transferred your conformity assessment files from your UK body to an EU recognised conformity assessment body before the 1st of January 2021. So perhaps another way of looking at this is for the typical information technology equipment and radio equipment certified using a self-declaration process, the grace period applies. Also, for products requiring third-party conformity assessment, so long as it has been done by an EU conformity assessment body before the 1st of January 2021, the grace period also applies. And we'll talk a little bit more about the grace period soon. It's worth noting that as with all EU regulations and UK enacted legislation based on EU le regulations, the change in rules does not apply to existing stock. So, for example, if your product was fully manufactured and ready to, to be placed on the market before the 1st of January 2021, it can continue with existing CE marking. However, new stock of current models produced and placed on the market from the 1st of January 2021 will require the new UK CA marking. So now let's look at the grace period. If your product requires mandatory third-party conformity assessment and provided that the conformity assessment um, files are held by an EU recognised conformity assessment body uh, or can be transferred to one before the 1st of January 2021, you have more time to meet the new requirements and to apply the UKCA marking. The same applies to products that do not require third-party conformity assessment. Such CE marked goods that meet EU requirements can continue to be placed on the GB market until the 31st of December 2021, provided that EU and UK requirements remain the same during that time. So it's worth noting that UK and EU requirements will remain the same up until the 1st of January 2021, and that there are currently no UK plans to subsequently diverge in the requirements. It's also worth noting that the UK government are encouraging manufacturers to be ready for full implementation of the new UK regime, in other words to switch over to UK CA marking for products covered by the grace period as soon as possible after the 1st of January 2021. The UK government have published several guideline documents on the transition to UK CA marking 
which can be found on the links attached to this video. So we've covered products that currently carry CE marking without the use of a third party conformity assessment body and those that carry CE marking and have been reviewed by a third party um, conformity assessment body. And there are some exemptions for goods regulated under what we might call old approach legislation. So this includes chemicals, medicines, vehicles and aerospace, uh, plus goods covered by national rules for which there's no harmonised requirements and certain other goods such as medical devices, civil explosives. So these goods are not really covered by the scope of this video presentation and I think for such goods it's best to refer to the mutual recognition of goods page that is linked to the video. We've talked about UKCA marking for products placed on the market in Great Britain. Now let's look at Northern Ireland. So the UKCA marking will not be recognised in the EU market or in Northern Ireland markets. Products currently requiring CE marking for sale in the EU and in Northern Ireland will continue to need CE marking. So where there is a restriction on placing products on the market in Northern Ireland with reference to Article 1010 of the Radio Equipment Directive, so for example for non-harmonised spectrum, then the CE marking can be accompanied with the UK NI mark, whereas before it would have been accompanied simply by the UK. So in summary, UK CA marking applies or will apply for products placed on the market in Great Britain and CE marking continues to apply for products placed on the market in the EU and in Northern Ireland. Interestingly, there is an exception to these rules for businesses based in Northern Ireland. Any conformity mark held by a Northern Ireland business which validates the goods for sale on the Northern Ireland market will also be valid for the whole of the UK market. So this means that products placed on the market of Great Britain by businesses in Northern Ireland can continue to carry CE marking and will not need the UK CA marking. Also at the broader level it's worth mentioning that of course goods can carry both the CE and the UK CA marking so long as they are fully compliant with both the UK and EU regulations. So it's not just the marking that has changed. Analogous to CE marking scheme, a UK declaration of conformity must be drawn up for products bearing the UK CA mark, and this must be signed by the manufacturer or its authorised representative. Details of a UK declaration of conformity will be largely aligned with the current EU requirements with UK national standards uh, which will be basically the UK version of existing European standards. Authorised representatives and responsible persons based in the EU will no longer be recognised in Great Britain from the 1st of January 2021. So if you need to choose an authorised representative or responsible person, they will need to be based in the UK for products being placed on the Great British market from the 1st of January 2021. So the mark must be a minimum of 5mm in height and proportional to the vector diagram if the size is increased or reduced. The mark will also need to be permanently affixed to equipment from the 1st of January 2023. In the meantime, it's possible to affix the mark to uh, product documentation, for example, the user manual. So further details can be found in the links to this video, but also if you have any specific questions, then please drop me an email and I'll be very happy to, uh, to respond. Thank you.